get on there and find out what's the, the trending news. Because there's a term called newsjacking. If you can put your content around something that's already popular, you're going to increase your chances of getting more eyeballs on it, because it's topical and people are very interested in it. Um, share personal things. So we talked about a little bit about merging the two worlds. George Costanza, you got to keep your worlds apart. No, you don't. you got to keep your worlds together. And I do a test um, with all my clients to get them to believe this. If they have an, uh, an e a new e-newsletter that can track things, like a constant contact, or you might have something at your firm, I have them do two messages. One is financial services related, what's going on in the market, whatever. The second one, has they both have little thumbnail pictures, and they're both the same amount of size. I even let the financial services one go first, so it gets more chances of being read. And then I put a little blurb on the next one that's something personal. I've had advisors say there was a new baby in the office. I've had them say all kinds of things. I went on a fishing trip, et cetera. Every single time that this newsletter, e-newsletter, went out to the clients, every single time the personal one beat the work-related one. I, I know, this is probably disappointing to you guys. Oh, man, people don't care about what I do. It's not to say that what you're doing is not important, and you still need to push that information out. But how you're going to make a connection, How people want to work with people. They want to love this stuff, and they're going to make a stronger connection if you start to show your human side. This last one, be flossome. Anyone want to guess what flossome is? It, it's being awesome by having flaws. And, and, you know, in, in this room, you, it, probably you guys are close to perfection. You're the best of the best. Believe it or not, if you show your human side, people will really relate to this. This is one, uh, like a really popular marketing jargon term now, and it's really working. Okay, I, I actually I almost. If you don't believe in Facebook, I don't think many people here in this room are probably using Facebook. Think of all the other social networks. It's that light blue trend, and then look at Facebook. It almost trumps all of them when it comes to time spent online. Here's another way to look at it. Boom. Facebook, this was just for one month. Uh, average people were spending 405 minutes. They blew away these other networks. You don't even, most presentations, you don't hear about Tumblr or Pinterest. Those are things that you should pay attention to, especially if you focus in on women. Pinterest is a fantastic thing. I think it's made up of 80% women the last time I looked. So back to Facebook. 50% of the U.S. population is using Facebook. If you want clients in the United States, you need to be on Facebook. Half of them are there. Of Internet users, 80, almost 80%, four out of five people of Internet users, probably, those are probably potential clients that you want, are using Facebook. So hopefully that little stat just gets that there's some potential there that you're missing out on. Second largest search engine, anybody know what it is? YouTube, fantastic. Well, extra footballs for that guy. Uh, <clears throat> it is YouTube. And I guarantee, oh, let's do a show of hands. Who here has a YouTube page? Uh, amazing. I, that's the most I've ever seen. I think I got four. If people are searching for things on YouTube, the second most, and only four advisors out of this full room are using it, what, potent, what you're mi completely missing out on the opportunity. The way that people want to digest information now, it's called infotainment. They like information, they like entertainment. If you can combine the two, you're going to crush it. And so what I would say is start to think of how you can use YouTube. This Tim Maurer.